i hope uh, now my slide is clear to all uh, i'm sorry for the network issue so starting from here first you have to ensure that are we having a sop are we having a sop for all this five elements in your institution and then we can able to okay move forward these are the six steps of curriculum designs starting from principles how we have been going to have a kind of enrichment and how we have been going to have a check and also how we have been going to have a resource model the six steps we have been ensure we have been going to touch up on today uh, starting from our okay how the curriculum is going to be designed so here the curriculum design we have to have a very systematic banner what is our objective towards that particular course what is the objectives of this particular course why we have been going to give this course and is going to be how we have been going to design the okay curriculum whenever we have been asking this question uh, people will always say that okay we have been designing the curriculum by the help of bos members board of study members good for board of study members are we giving any inputs that's most important before the, you have been asking them to come for a okay come for a bos meeting are you giving a kind of inputs are you having a curriculum research okay curriculum research committee to ensure that there should be a proper research should be done and a report has to be submitted to your bos members based upon that you are going to decide the curriculum so for this my dear friends my dear educators you ensure that how the curriculums are framed because uh, if you have been coming from africa technology can able to ask us uh, we have been not having a proper scope of our curriculum design why not you can always ensure that you can able to design your certification course and value added courses is it right so we have been having a ample amount of time and ample amount of opportunity to ensure that the, uh, the proper curriculum has been designed so whenever you have been going to design a curriculum the first thing is there should be a proper input from various stakeholders starting from students students starting from alumni starting from the professionals starting from okay national okay starting from international experts and also from the industrial experts so you have to ensure that how we are going to cater because it is not a process of one week or two week at least it requires a process of three months to ensure that if you have been going to update a particular course itself if you have been going to introduce a particular program you imagine that how much amount of time and how much amount of team work has to be there while you are going to decide a particular curriculum for a program and also you have to ensure that what is the pos what is the program specific outcomes and course outcomes and most important professional attributes if you have been going if you have been going to ensure okay if you have been going to ensure if you have been going to have a curriculum design for a particular program all these four components are very 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 essential without that we can't be able to do that so there should be a proper sop there should be a proper okay mechanism in such a way that how you have been scattered how you have been going to get the information from all the stakeholders and how you are going to link with this po psos and professional attributes next whenever we are going to talk about curriculum okay curriculum as okay this is the international statement international definition of a curriculum whenever we are be talking about a curriculum is going to have learning objectives and you are going to enhance you are be going to ensure that how the competence okay how the competency of a learner has been developed based on my curriculum each course as a objective to develop a curriculum is it right each course the course which i be going to introduce is going to ensure okay is going to ensure that yes i am having a okay particular competency the competency only i will be linked here as professional attributes can you able to understand professional attributes what is professional attributes by studying this program by applying this program what my student is going to get the competency how i am going to measure the competency 
whenever we are going to talk about a curriculum the curriculum has different approach behavior approach managerial approach systematic approach academic approach humanistic approach and researchional approach all these six approach are being a part of a curriculum so whenever you are going to have a curriculum design is a very 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 important process make sure that you are having a proper curriculum research committee whenever i be going for audit i always ensure that because whenever you are being having a very strong team here you can always ensure that you are going to have a very good curriculum okay national competency curriculum that you can able to develop and you can able to give to your okay students next process we are going to talk about curriculum enrichment okay curriculum enrichment how i am going to enrich my curriculum i develop my curriculum already how i am going to develop or how i am going to add values or the current requirement towards my curriculum most probably okay this curriculum enrichment is been done every year because we can't be able to revise the curriculum okay each year at least the enrichment part my appeal year my humble submission year is my dear educators whenever you are be going to have your bos okay make sure that you are going to talk about this part how i'm going to enrich my curriculum yes curriculum has been decided okay it has been freezed on the previous meet itself but this meeting you are going to ensure that you are going to add values towards that you are going to add values how you are going to add values how my students requirement what is the requirement of my industries and how i am going to add values to it it can be okay by not adding any syllabus in my curriculum i can able to add the certification course related to the co course objective of the particular course okay i hope you can able to understand i can't able to revise my okay course okay each year at least i have to have a provision in such a way that i can able to add a certification course related to one of the co of the particular course so that the then and their requirement okay the requirement of the industry the requirement of the current system the value added the cross cutting issues so you are able to ensure that i am giving a holistic approach holistic development to my students towards 360 degree development of my students and also this okay this curriculum enrichment is one of the very important factors which you have to understand uh, why it is necessary and why it is required based on your learners level each learners will have their own embedded skills i am using a new term called embedded skill uh, based on this if you have been going to enrich the curriculum they will be more happy and they can always ensure that their competency and they can able to upskill their embedded skills and they can always ensure that they are being having a right competency towards their interest if it is not done they may not be in a position at all to have a attraction towards the curriculum i always tell this word my dear educators your curriculum has to attract the students before it is attracting the students the curriculum has to attract the teachers so that well competency that well readiness my curriculum should be there so whenever we are going to talk about this curriculum enrichment you after this session you list out what are the requirements what are the plans what are the steps we have for this curriculum enrichment and what are the methods we have been doing on curriculum enrichment can be okay can be in different aspects okay not only adding a certification course curriculum enrichment can be done by using a different methodologies also okay different methodologies also different experiments also so all this is a part to ensure that the curriculum entry we have been enriching the curriculum so we have been in the second part next one is curriculum delivery very very important aspect of a faculty and also very very important factor for all of us so whenever we are going to deliver the curriculum you understand this the curriculum is being framed by bos board of study members and the curriculum is being delivered by faculties whom they are going to be the part of bos or they may not be more okay most of the times they are not the part of okay bos 
are you having a mechanism in such a way that once the syllabus has been freezed, it's been approved by the academic council, are we giving a right message, right communication to my faculties? What is the expectation of this CEOs? What is the expectation? What is the discussion? What is the objective towards this course of each units? And it has to be done in a very, very holistic way to ensure that the communication has been passed to the teachers whom they have been going to conduct the session. If it is not, the faculties who have been taking the session, they may not be able to know what is the intensity and what is the discussion of this framing the entire syllabus of the particular course. Is it right? So the proper methodology is after having a BOS, okay, you'll be, I, I hope most of the institution will be having this practice. You will be having your internal meeting to share with this and share independently for the particular faculties who have been going to handle that subject and make sure that first they have been understood the way which they have to deliver and what is the objective of framing this entire syllabus of the particular course. So that is first thing. Next one is learner center approach. After this COVID, we have to thank COVID because most of the time, uh, COVID has good. Okay, COVID has done a lot of good things also for the education system, starting from this learner-centered education methods. So you ensure that I request all the participants here who have been attending, all the faculties who have been attending here. You ensure, okay, you ensure that what is the percentage of teaching model which your faculties have been using. Whether it is 40 percentage learner centric, learner centric, it can be participative, it can be experimental, it can be flip flop, it can be collaborative learning. So you make sure that what is the percentage of this methodology they have been using in their teaching and learning method. That's the most important thing. Because whenever you have been going to use this learner centric method, okay, learner centric method, this learner centric method will ensure that the responsibility, the onus of a particular student towards that particular curriculum. Is it right? Now, we are the students are not having the ownership at all. They are telling that so it, is, it is going to be the responsibility of the faculty to finish the curriculum, to finish the subject. No, it's a responsibility. We have to share the responsibility. Okay, even, okay, even our national education policy is telling the same thing. Oneness. You make sure that your students are having that oneness so how we are being going? How we are being going to do that? We are going to do this by different kind of learner centric method. Shift slowly, shift from blackboard concept. Okay, blackboard concept from multimedia concept. Okay, multimedia approach. So you are going to ensure. Okay, you are going to ensure that how your students have been effectively done. Here, I just want to ask you a, okay, a very important question. I, I like to hear from you the reflection of this question. Uh, whenever you have been going to get, yeah, whenever you have been get, you, you have been going to get, yeah, okay, a particular new batch of students, how you are going to understand how you have been having a mechanism to understand the capabilities of that particular batch. Or I can able to ask the question in this way, how your teaching plan or delivery curriculum delivery has been changed by considering the new set of students in a particular batch? Are we changing? Okay, are we changing our curriculum delivery model? based on the different batch of students? Yes, thank you. My dear friends, okay, you have to ensure that the curriculum delivery has to be changed based on understanding the visual 
kinesthetic and auditory okay conception of the particular batch students if the particular batch is going to have more than 60% of the students is having okay visually they are strong your curriculum delivery should be okay more towards okay visual aspects so there is several methodologies okay they has been used to assess your particular batch students before you are choosing this delivery method if you are going to handle that particular batch freshly make sure that you are having a methodology there is o'brien method is there whether you you can able to give that methodology okay give that question to your students to analyze that particular batch how strong they are been in visual auditory and kinesthetic if you are going to design your course curriculum delivery based on this the student will be more attracted towards your teaching because this curriculum delivery plays a very vital role towards all the institution is it right whenever we have been telling that whenever i have been taking the classes students are talking students are not listening yes it is very 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 difficult to get the attention of this 20s kids but make sure that your curriculum has to attract your curriculum delivery has to attract so make sure that how you are going to design the curriculum delivery based on that particular batch of students so it is going to be more easy and make sure that the learner center methods curriculum is been framed yes i accepted and in your curriculum framing itself you have to ensure that how you are going to deliver this methodology also there should be suggestions from the head of the department it has to be there is a suggestion and the particular teacher has to select based on the learner's capability what is the methodology he or she is going to use for this curriculum delivery very important aspect next aspect is curriculum evaluation <clears throat> is it right curriculum evaluation how you are going to evaluate the curriculum is curriculum evaluation is necessary yes it's more necessary once there should be two ways of evaluation has to be done starting from okay evaluation starting from okay once you have been delivered a particular unit there should be intermediate evaluation check and as we are all we have been knowing this the co course objective and program objective mapping should be there and skill evaluation again i am telling that skill evaluation is not that evaluating the summative assessment summative assessment is not skill evaluation for completing of each subject okay units or completing of each particular topic make sure that if you can able to have a skill evaluation that is a right method to ensure that whether the curriculum planned the curriculum designed whether that objective is been met or not skill evaluation of learners it may be after finishing your all the units before summative assessment make sure that a skill okay a, a kind of skill okay, evaluation has been done without pen and paper without pen and paper make sure that you can able to okay it can be a more practical way make sure that whether they have been understood the entire concept the objective of that particular curriculum so curriculum evaluation is the most aspect and c1 p1 mapping make sure that you have been integrating this in your academic administrative audit each year we have to do it the ipsc members you are going to play a very vital role here the last thing which we have been going to discuss is curriculum feedback yes curriculum feedback plays a very 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 important role for improving okay for improving the entire set of okay curriculum objectives so it should be collected from different aspect of people it has to start from okay it has to start from my students my alumni okay the industry persons whenever a technical person the competent person has been coming to your okay, institution make sure that they have been spending some 10 to 15 minutes to know what is the recent changes in the curriculum you made and make sure that what are the requirement of them okay next make sure that how well the same subject is been taught in other universities how well the same subject has been taught in okay internationally make sure that you are be getting feedback from various stakeholders okay various stakeholders it should be done in a very 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 essential way uh, starting from different point of peoples and 
start okay getting the feedback alone okay is not okay sufficient once the feedback has been collected at least 50 percentage okay from each stakeholders at least 50 percentage you have to get a feedback and make sure that the feedback has been analyzed proper analysis has to be done by our IQAC team and IQAC team has to present this in the IQAC minutes and the IQAC team has to take a proper action plans also based on the feedback. Nowadays, make sure that uh, most of the institution, okay, some of the institution have been come forward to use, okay, to get the feedback in a kiosk system itself, kiosk system itself. So make sure whenever we have been going to get a lot of feedbacks, it's always good that we can able to keep on improve our, okay, the curriculum towards the global requirement. So make sure that you have been doing this part to ensure that you have been attracting, okay, you have been attracting your students and you have been attracting the entire, okay, student fatality. Because once you have been going to attract your students, is going to be most useful for our society and also towards the goodwill of all. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. And if you have any doubts, always you can able to put in the chat box. Any doubts? Sir, you said feedback from stakeholders. Can you mention the stakeholders' names, sir? Very good, sir. Stakeholders, stakeholders means what type of category? Okay. So whenever we have been going to talk about stakeholders, uh, the international document, okay, education organization management system is saying that stakeholders are interested parties. Who are the interested parties? Based on my decision, institution decision, who are going to be affected, both positive and negative. Based on their decision, if I've been going to affect it, okay, they are the interested parties. Starting from your students, alumni, parents, professionals, even, okay, even if your students have been going for abroad universities, okay, they are also your stakeholders. So you make sure, okay, you make sure that Okay, you make sure that you have been getting at least from this five persons, okay, a proper feedback, a proper feedback. And also you have to ensure, okay, you have to ensure that uh, the number of feedback is also has to be declared, okay, it should be declared and it also has to be, okay, assigned that, okay, this year we have been going to get feedback from 150 alumni. We have to get 150, okay, number of feedback from okay, employees like that there should be a target or otherwise most of the institution i'll be seeing that they are getting feedback from 30 10 15 okay it's not a right way is it right it's not going to be the right way one more point sir what is the point yes. of collecting feedback from parents okay so good, what sir. do you know about our curriculum and uh... good sir sir because uh some of the okay, some of the parents, okay, some of the parents, they may be a employer, okay, they may be related to our domain itself. So whenever you have been going to give, okay, whenever you have been going to give a feedback, okay, you have been going to ask the feedback from the particular persons, they can able to give you a very genuine feedback saying that these are the syllabus, okay, these are the units which we are not able, which, which we cannot be able to implement in a real time at all. Is it right? I'm not, I'm not telling about all the parents. There may be some parents, okay, who have been working in the same domain, which we have been going to teach. There, they will, okay, you will always get a very genuine feedback saying that these are the, okay, these are the elements you have to add upon. These are the, okay, these are the, okay, different types of element you can able to remove. So, if you have been going to get very little amount of feedback from the parents also is okay, but getting feedback from parents is very essential because they are going to give you a very 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 right feedback considering the future of their students is it right sir okay sir good sir i got clear uh, information on parents because we thought parents what they will do but, no 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 sir even one student or two okay one parent or and the next parent okay some of the case i tell you in one of the university Okay, okay, it is a medical university. We have been given a feedback. Three to four parents, okay, they are telling that you teach, okay, you teach my K okay, words 
regarding emergency preparedness regarding fire they told mm. then only they realized that okay we have been keep on teaching all the things related to medical field why not we have to teach this is it right and then we call that parents and why you have been given this feedback they told that no sir we have been always we have been seeing in tvs that hospital got fire there is a fire incident in the hospital is it right so we have been discussing with our students and 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 they are telling that it is not a responsible it is not a okay work of us there is a security guards for that then we realize that our students has to know about this also so you can able to get lot of things whenever you are being going to get your feedback from your students okay uh, getting feedback are a bit tough from the stakeholders so uh, i will give you a very okay easiest form of getting the feedback from the different stakeholders always make sure that it is being online okay have a kiosk system like this okay i have a tab like this <clears throat> okay whenever a professional is coming okay to your institution have a 2 to 3 minutes of video okay showing that what is the curriculum enrichment what is the curriculum you have he or she can able to see that and fill it the online itself the pen and paper it won't work make sure that you can able to digitalize and also thank you thank you for this wonderful opportunity uh, and we can able to meet and uh, and and we can able to meet on the coming days and coming months and if you have any doubts always you can able to write to our center isd the main objective of the session is to ensure okay to ensure that we have been doing and we have been creating a very good society towards the enrichment of our students and spreading the quality education for all the unesco's fourth goal sustainable development goal thank you okay, thank you and thank you all for this wonderful opportunity thank you